Howdy folks, Larry Leroy Lawrence of Ass coming to you from the farm. Doing a little video inside today. Uh, <clears throat> got something really important going on I need to talk to you about. I was watching the news and I saw that Gretchen Carlson and she's uh, with that Miss America pageant and she said that they're not going to have that bikini uh, contest anymore. They said that no more physical appearance, you know, nothing, it's unfair. Just unfair to those that might be a little bigger, a little, little skinnier, maybe, you know, one of them trans something, others, whatever they call them things that ain't really one or the other. And anyhow, I got to thinking about it. Most folks around here know that I've been I've been judging the chicken at the fair for the longest time. I've been doing it for years, and I, I, I try to be fair about it. But I realized uh, I was the same way. I was just looking at the chicken. I was going by the appearance. and. You know, I wasn't thinking about the, the chicken itself, you know, the, yeah, so, hey, no more, uh-uh, no, it, this changes the whole thing. We're not, we ain't going on appearance anymore. It's, it's all about what's inside. That's what's really important when it comes to a contest. So, I got three of my best folks, you know, coming. I see, you, you probably see the names out there. I got uh, Eddie Earl, Ricky Don, and, and Mr. Rufus Sr., uh, they have some of the finest chickens in the, in the land, and I'm, I'm going to judge them three chickens today. And I want you to see it, and I want you to know that there's no more outward appearance, none of that. It's all about what's inside. So let's start with Mr. Rufus, Mr. Rufus Sr. We're going to start with him. I'm going I'm to hang on just a second. tell you that the inside of Mr. Rufus chicken is awful good but we got more than one contestant so look I gotta cleanse my palate with some of Miss Ida Jean's sweet tea mm. Mm -mm. we gotta keep it fair so we're moving let's see that's Eddie Earl and we got uh, Ricky Don let's let's go with Ricky Don now let's let's see about the inside of Ricky Don's chicken mmm Mmm. Nice and moist. That dark meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, Ricky Don chicken is pretty good too. Cleanse that palate again some more of this sweet tea. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Yeah. Now let's see about Eddie here. Let's check Eddie here. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. I'm gonna have to go with Eddie Earl. I believe Eddie Earl had the best chicken this year. Mm. We're going by the inside of the chicken. What's inside? Mm. So look. Right about now, I would normally put a little uh, blue ribbon over the chicken's neck, but Eddie Earl chicken neck in there and some dumplings right now, so I don't have anywhere to hang it. But if I had a chicken neck, I would give it to Eddie Earl. So congratulations, Eddie Earl, and uh, thanks, Miss America Pageant, for showing me where I was going wrong. I promise you. From now on, no more outward appearance on the chickens when I'm doing the judging. It's all about what's on the inside. And for those of you that are wondering, all the chickens were in favor of world peace. All of them wanted that. So that's that's a good thing. So, hey, look, congratulations to Eddie Earl. And I hope you change your ways if you've been looking at outward appearance. Look at what's on the inside and go with that. So, till next time, Larry Leroy Lawrence last saying, see ya.